Hello again, everyone. It's your favorite medical student, Henson, and today we're going to be continuing on the Pre-Med Expressway and talking about the application process and everything that goes into it. So if you're new here, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know anything else that you guys would like to see. So first and foremost, the application process. There are two major parts of the application process, the primary application and the secondary application. Now the primary application, which is the bulk application that you fill out and which is primarily sent to all the med medical schools, um, usually opens up sometime during the last week of May or the first week of June. This year's application process for those who are hoping to enter medical school the fall of 2021 opens on May 28th. The primary application has seven major parts that you want to fill out and actually take your time on before you send it in. So do prepare these beforehand, which is why I'm making this video now and telling you now. The first part is identifying information. Not much you can prepare there. It's really just information about you, your family, addresses, all the basic information that they need just to identify you as a person. Nothing special or complicated there at all. Um, following the identifying information comes the academic record in the education section. Now, this is probably the most tedious portion of the whole entire primary application, but also the part that you want to make sure you get right and you verify the first time around. So the academic record, it's where you manually input every single class, every single grade, every single uh, credit that you took at any institution. So with this section, you literally want to pull up your, un, um, your unofficial transcripts from any university you've ever attended, from any dual enrollment classes you've ever done, anything that counts for college credit and that was applied to you. You want to take a, a, the unofficial transcript with the correct name of the class, the correct name of the institution, the numbers, all the little nuances that go into the class, and you want to input those manually one by one, like semester by semester, year by year, into the primary application. This portion of the application took me the longest, and it was also the most annoying part of the application, um, because there is really no, there's no real shortcuts to doing this part. Um, however, this part can backfire on you, because if you do not do it right the first time, um, the AAMC will send your application back unverified because they'll ask you to fix something or something did not clear their verification process. Um, my first one was sent back to me because although I entered all of them, one of my classes that I took at a different institution, I apparently entered it incorrectly, so it delayed my verification process a little bit and they did send it back. So save yourself the trouble and do it right the first time. Um, following that is the education part, like I said, and that's just where you put every institution or every school that you ever attended, along with how long you spent there, if you got a degree from there, and anything like that. Uh, the third part of the primary application is the MCAT. This part is pre-filled for you, so you kind of leave this blank, and then after you take your MCAT and you have your scores back, and the AAMC has your scores back, they will then input those scores into the MCAT along with percentile information and section information, all of that. So this part, you don't really have to worry about. Following that comes the experiences. Now, this is where you start to differentiate yourself. So with the experiences, you have 15 slots. And within those slots, you have the ability to tell the medical schools what makes you as a person or what brings the death to you as a person. So you have 15 chances to tell them about your volunteer activities, your research, things you got involved in in undergrad, um, major things or different organizations you did outside of school that honestly make and shape you as a medical applicant and anything that you think would be important for them to know. So with those, you maybe have like a sentence or two to tell about what exactly that activity is or what it did for you, along with giving them dates, times, um, durations. However, you do get to choose three of those experiences that you get to expound upon. So with those three experiences, you get to tell them, I think they give you a paragraph where you get to tell them more about the experience, why it is, why is it that you chose that as one of your biggest three experiences that shaped you, and um, what about that experience is the most important to you, and what should medical schools or the people reading your application see and take away from that experience. So use those three really wisely. Like... I suggest writing down all of your things that, um, on paper, rank them 1 through 15, and then of those 15, pick your three and why those three are the ones you chose. After the experiences, you have your personal statement. Now, I will not 
underestimate. I will say, do not underestimate under any circumstance the personal statement. The personal statement is extremely, extremely important. It took me months to write my personal statement. I wrote about nine different uh, copies of my personal statement. I sent it to different people. It got bounced back. Um, and not even just like gr grammar wise, just like as a personal statement. It did not work, or was not interesting enough, to, or was not interesting enough to ever matter to a medical school, or to ever actually differentiate me from someone else. Your personal statement should be what honestly defines you and puts it into perspective as to why you want to be here, or what makes you more fit or more suitable for them to choose you for medical school than anything else. So I will say, take the time on the personal statement. It doesn't matter how many different edits you do, doesn't matter how long um, it takes you to write, it doesn't matter how many times you send it out to other people, but take the time to do it because it is very, very important. The next part is your letters of recommendation and your committee packet. So most schools, they do a committee packet. University of Miami, the undergrad that I attended, did a committee packet where you go for a committee interview. Um, they kind of compile all your letters together along with the overarching letter from the committee director themselves that they then, that they then send to medical schools. However, some schools either do not do committee packets and you have to individually update your letters or some schools give you the option of individually sending your letters. With this... And even with the committee packet, there are, of course, standards and requirements that most committees and most uh, programs will ask you for. Uh, common things that I've heard, you will need two science letters. So start making your connections early or start like thinking in your head who you want to ask. So you will need two science letters, um, people who you really trust. And make sure that the people you're asking, they're people who are willing and ready to actually write you very strong letters. Um, if you can, it's really not a bad thing to ask them, would they be willing, will they be willing to write you a strong letter for medical school? Because that is something that I would say is important because if they're just going to write you a letter, there's really no point to it. So two science letters, uh, one letter from a doctor, and I would suggest an MD, but a doctor you shadow or a doctor you work with, someone who is willing to vouch for your entrance into the profession. Um, I also had a, so there's an extra, extra extraneous letter. So a letter from someone you know who's not a science teacher or someone you know who's not a doctor, someone who can really vouch for you as a person. Make sure that person, because they are like extra extracurricular or an extraneous person, is really truly and able to talk about you and what about you, especially outside of the classroom, makes you a good fit for this. Um, some schools will also ask you for different letters from different people. Like I know my school asks for a third science letter, um, but it's usually between three to five letters for most programs. Some can't ask for six, but try to get your letters ahead of time. Um, give the person who's writing your letter time to write it. And if anything, more letters is better than any. So ask for more letters, and then of those, you get to choose who exactly you want to select. And then the final part is the designated programs part of the primary application. So with this, you get to choose and rank or not ring, you get to choose the different programs that you want to apply to. You can choose, honestly, as many as you would like. However, um, do your research on the programs first. Know why you want to go there and know that if you were accepted, this is a program that you would like to go to. Applying to medical school is not cheap. So make sure that you really and truly know what you're applying for and know the programs that you're applying for, this is a program that you would like to be at. Don't just apply to apply unless you have the funds and the financial capability to do so. However, if you do not, make sure that they're programs that you realistically can see yourself getting accepted into. So do your research beforehand. Now, after the primary application comes a secondary application. However, um, three tips or three advice for to end the whole entire primary application part. One, apply early. So, like I said, the application opens May 28th. Try to get it done so that as soon as like it is able to be submitted, you can submit the application. Apply as early as possible because the day you apply is not the day it is sent out. The AAMC does have to take the time to verify the application itself, um, verify the grades that you submitted, verify the letters of recommendation, and verify different portions of your application. That does take a while. It took me, honestly, about a month. And then on top of that, mine got bounced back at first because of the fact that the um, academic info information part, I did input something incorrectly, and then it would take a little additional time to be re-verified. So do it right the first time and do it early so that way it can be verified early and medical schools can see it as soon as possible. Uh, second, be accurate. 
Don't let it bounce back. I can't say this enough. Do it all right the first time and you won't have to do it again. And finally, be prepared. Like, be prepared to submit as soon as possible. Like, I'm telling you this now, have all this information ready. Get all your letters of recommendation. Um, start getting your unofficial transcripts. Start preparing your your experiences because those do take some time to write. Start preparing all these little things that way when you do get to the application, you can copy and paste or you can just write it all in and submit as early as possible because you already had it prepared. Um, your personal statement, like that should have been prepared yesterday if you're trying to apply for this coming thing. So prepare it now, get it checked by as many people as you want, get it grammar checked, get it all nice, tight and ready um, because that will be a make or break for your application. Now, like I said, next comes a secondary application. So with secondaries, once you've been cleared for a secondary, that's basically telling you that, okay, you got past the preliminary portion of the schools. Now, most schools do send out a lot of secondaries. However, um, the secondaries are where you get to really distinguish yourself. So most schools, they'll either have um, a group of essays or like very specific questions that they want to ask to really hone in on the type of medical student that they want to see. So... The secondaries I received and I sent in, most of them, uh, by most, I'm saying 99% of them were just like a lot of essays. Some schools will have just one major essay. Other schools will have um, like two or three major questions with like a bunch of supplemental like paragraph long questions that they want answered. But more or less, just be prepared to write essays. Um, don't try to mass produce all your essays and kind of like put them all into the same secondary. Try to at least add a unique touch to it. The foundation may be the same, but try to add a unique touch to your essays between schools because sometimes by trying to mass produce or trying to make an essay fit the question, you'll be honestly, you'll be missing out on the chance that you could have had for the school to actually send you an interview because you're not taking the time to answer the essay. You worked so hard to be here, you got in here, don't try to shortcut it now. So. Do your essays, do them right, get them checked. Grammar matters. Um, and honestly, have fun with the process. Be yourself. And finally, um, with the secondary process, which once you get an essay, the standard turnaround time and the time that I've been told by several different people, including people who are in the medical schools, um, it's like a two-week turnaround. So if you get a secondary, try to submit the secondary within two weeks of getting the secondary. That is important because until they get the secondary back, they can't even start considering you for an interview. So try to get the secondary in as fast as possible. It will increase your chances of getting an interview and potentially getting into medical school. A hidden caveat that not many people know about is that with your secondary applications also comes the headshot. Most schools will ask you to submit a headshot along with your secondary application. And a lot of us do underestimate the headshot. I know I did. However, headshots are important. Have a headshot prepared, um, one that you know that you would want professional programs to see. And finally, after you submitted your secondary application, comes the interview. The part that we've all pray and hope for. Once you submit the secondaries, it's honestly a waiting game. Not much you can do otherwise, other than like continuing to check the like, uh, status of your application. But once you get an interview, it means that the school is interested in you. And now it is on you to turn that interest into a desire or a want for you to be here. So when you get to the interview, be yourself, but also stay true to what got you here in the first place. Um, remember your interview techniques, and I'll make a separate video about interviewing and actually um, what I believe the best ways to perform at an interview are. However... Just be yourself. That is the number one rule of an interview. And remember why you got here. And then after the interview, it is a huge waiting game. Um, waiting until you hear back from a school. Waiting until you uh, a school tells you, okay, yes, they want you. And then you know that, that delightful day when you get the call saying you've been accepted to such and such medical school. Are you going, et cetera, et cetera. And then just remember that with the AAMC, when you do get an acceptance, and let's say you get multiple acceptances, you do have the option to go in and either click like plan to enroll, commit to enroll. You can wait out for different scholarships um, and different things that you would want to see between different medical schools. So hopefully everything goes well for everyone. Um, for those who just got into this cycle, congratulations. For those applying to this class of 2021, or I'm sorry, for those applying to the entrance year 2021, um, best of luck. And I'm always here for any questions or concerns that anyone may have, especially on the application process. So everyone who is new, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And if there's anything you want to see, please feel free to tell me. Thank you, guys.